Hello, Samoa Joe, the Samoan Submission Machine, and you are watching Jiggy Jag TV. Okay, it is Jiggy Jag TV. We are at the Salt City Brewery in the great Salt City of Hutchinson, Kansas. Romy, I haven't seen you in a hell of a long time. How are you, sir? It has been a while. It's been a minute, man. It's been years. I haven't, I haven't bombed in Hutchinson in years. This ought to be thrilling. We'll always have Pizza Barn, baby. Pizza Barn. Pizza Barn, baby. Open. <laughs> That's right. All the people did that night was complain about how terrible it is, but they won't quit eating there. <laughs> I guess. So, um, you have a show this evening. Tell me a little bit about what you expect from this crowd just so far. Uh, just hopefully their undivided attention. That's all I need. That's all. That's the problem I've ever had in Hutchison. People just want to talk and heckle and be part of the show. Just sit there and shut the hell up and... <laughs> These jokes work in every other city in uh, in Kansas. Just give me a sh just give me a shot. <laughs> it's like Salina used to be like that. That's right. Speaking of Salina, uh, are you still doing your your December comedy shows? Or? I d I haven't done it during COVID, and I'm not doing it this year. But I I plan on getting back at it next year. But yeah, because I do miss doing it. It's for a good cause usually. So, but well, I was up there a couple weeks ago, and I drove we drove past the Oof Lodge, and I'm like. You know, oh, I swear I recorded my CD. That's right. Yeah, that was a banger of a show. We had a hundred people in that little That's building. Right. Uh, ass building. Yep. So, what have you been doing lately? I know, I know you're getting this podcast thing together, but as far as comedy shows, what's um about four or five months ago when they started back up, I did about three or four shows in a row, and then I just fell off again. Hadn't had Anything, but you know, I'm dealing with I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, you know, working, doing, the, getting the podcast ready, health issues, you know. So let's talk about this podcast. Before we started this interview this evening, you were telling me about all this, all these hassles that you've had to put up with. Oh yeah, just trying to soundproof a room and Amazon suggesting things that don't go with other things. So you like you buy these tiles that come vacuum sealed and they're like come in a small box so they puff up like ten times the size that they were and That's then right. so I have to return them. So you can take them to like Kohl's or the UPS store to return them. You don't have to have a box or anything. So I just oh, went I, I bet I bet those were fun conversations. Yeah, I just went there with like three trash bags full of foam wall tiles to return. 
The lady's like, uh, what's this? I was like, an Amazon return. She just rolled her. Like, I'm sure that's probably not the weirdest thing she's had return there. I mean, because you can return anything to Amazon. Yeah, anything. So, when does the podcast start, and what are some of your goals for this thing? Uh, still working on getting the bedroom slash studio and getting it soundproofed, and uh, got a vinyl logo to sit behind us. I got the equipment all done, getting it set up. Um, we're gonna do a, a pilot episode and kind of get our feet wet, and because I, I did a podcast a few years ago, but it's just kind of did it on my phone or computer. But I got I got a bunch of equipment now, a nice little pod track recorder, and. Uh, just getting that set up. Screwing around with the equipment. No, no, I'm going all in on this one. Spend. I uh, got a brand new laptop. I'm gonna run it through that. We're gonna eventually live stream it to Facebook. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna get our get the kinks worked out first before we do that. But yeah, we're gonna post it everywhere we can. Try to build this thing up. My co-host I got with me is a it's been a good friend for years. That's uh, awesome. We thought about calling because we we fight like cats and dogs all the time. Uh, it's a black dude. He calls me racist all the time. I call him reverse racist because he is. <laughs> so, uh, but we were going to call the podcast. It's called the uh, FAF podcast, the funny AF yeah, podcast. So, FAFcast. So, we were going to call it, uh, we thought about calling it Y'all Married podcast because people ask us that all the time. Y'all married? But so we argue all the time. But it should be, should be entertaining. And then we're going to do. Uh, you know, sometimes if he's not available to be the co-host, we're going to do, like, an uh, interview with comics, local bands, stuff like that. You know, awesome. kind of trying to take over your, your hey. little... You, 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 might, you might as well. <laughs> I, I think my... I'm trying to push you out of the scene, Jiggy. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> One of the things I think was funny is when you first announced this, you put something out there about, well, we're going to do another podcast nobody's going to listen to. Yeah, right? Like, as, as like, I don't think there's enough people out there not being listened to. Because oh everybody's doing a podcast everybody's these days. So uh, what exactly do you think is going to happen now that everybody's back to live entertainment and live comedy? Are, are people starting to come out to shows? Or is this still... What do I think, nope. What do I think is going to happen? Yeah. Oh, probably another COVID spike, if I had to guess. <laughs> I mean, if history says anything, I don't know. I kind of get the vibe, just just being in Hutch for a couple hours. I kind of get the vibe that they think that that's not real here. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. Well, um, before we let you go, how do people listen to the podcast and follow you? And everything? Uh, you can follow me, Romy Lee, on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. Everything's going to be on there eventually. Uh, the podcast. Uh, the podcast is going to be probably. I'm still feeling out where we're going to do it, but it, it'll be all posted on my Facebook, and then we're going to get a Twitch channel going. Uh, it'll be on Facebook Live when we do it, and then it'll be posted to the, all the, like, Spotify and all that. Uh, probably going to do it through TalkShoe, I believe, that I've been uh, looking at. E-hosting. Yeah, yeah, that's the biggest thing. I don't want to, I've already spent enough money on this. I don't want to have to spend monthly payments on it. That's right. Well, uh, it's an honor and a privilege, sir, to see you once again. And uh, thanks for watching, Jiggy Jake TV. Too, uh, too ghetto to shop at Target and too fancy for Walmart. <laughs> when I'm at Target, I feel like everybody's looking at me. When I'm at Walmart, I'm like, look at these fucking people. <laughs> you guys ever find yourself rooting or uh, poor or against your own race out in public? You yeah, just me? You, I can tell you, sir. This is like the whitest fucking place too, even the Christmas tree is white. Okay, the one black person left, he's like, let's get the fuck out of here, the tree is even white. Let's, I don't want to be hung by a white tree in a room full of people. I was in the store the other day and I was in a, pushing my cart down the aisle and the aisle over I heard, no, get up, I'm not, I'm not picking, I'm not bending over and picking you up. I told you, no, I'm not. And I'm just like, please don't be white, please. Please do not be white. I keep pushing my car and I go, fuck, white. No wonder you're not gonna bend over and pick them up. You're 600 pounds.